So first off, it's a new movie, it's playing at a festival, so can you briefly explain what Shovel Buddies is to people who don't know it? Okay. Um, Shovel Buddies is about, um, it's about a bunch of teens and their best friend dies, my brother dies, um, and my character has a sort of relationship with um, his, my character's brother's best friend, and um, he dies on us and he leaves her, a sh he leaves them a shovel list to like go and do after he dies, so we're basically carrying around a dead body the whole entire film. <laughs> but it's not really a dead body, it's, it's yeah. like an actual accident, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, we That's were carrying, um, yeah, we were carrying Philip around, and poor yeah. Philip is literally, I felt so bad for this kid, he's like, barely dressed and we're just like throwing him around to like one person to the next they got him a bunch of massages though pretty does sure he the specialize in this kind of performance this kind of physical performance i don't think so i don't think so i think they're just like by the way you're gonna be dead today and the whole rest of the film because you're all great in the film but the dead guy is kind yeah of incredible. <laughs> the dead guy's freaking amazing so how did you come to be involved in this because like at this point i imagine you kind of have your pick of whatever project you want and oh. you have a pretty diverse resume right now oh. too um yeah the more diversity the better um when i read this script it's so rare that you find a script that writes teenagers like teenagers are um and usually you have a six-year-old writing what comes out of 16 year old girl's mouth and it's just you know any girl watching it would be like mm, i don't really know about that so when i read our film i was like wow this is good and then another great part of it was that you know People like to paint teenagers as like these really innocent young kids. Like when I get direction on set, it's often like be younger, like be more young sounding, like be more like less mature. Like open your eyes. Teenagers are very mature. Teenagers can get dark real quick. And like we're all many adults. We, we might be 16 or 17 or 18, but we're like, basically in our 20s and I think that you know the old-fashioned mindset kind of thinks that that's just not the way it is so I'm glad that our film kind of shows that. That's such an interesting note that you get that a lot. Yeah I get a younger. lot yeah, to act younger and I'm always like people are like why are you so mature and I'm like I don't know I've literally been working since I was born so you tell me why I'm so mature. So how is it working uh, with these two as co-directors what kind of uh, note process do you oh get said? Oh my god, Cy and Ad are amazing. They're so funny. They got the British sarcastic humor, which is great because I'm used to it, obviously. But one time, uh, my first three words in the film is choke on a cock, and um, the directors come to me. It, Lord, my publicist is getting mad at me, but like, what do you want from me? It's in the film. You perked up right now. Laura's like, sorry. And Cy uh, came to me and was like, be less cunty, like be like more vulnerable, you know, be a little less. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then Adam comes to me and he's like, be more cunty. Be like, really like, I'm gonna, uh, like you hate this character. And I'm like, wait, so like less cunty or like more cunty? Like, it's just funny that they both use the same word and totally gave me complete opposite directions. It happens very often, so I'll do one take like that. I hope all do, of like, this isn't like the <laughs> B-roll when an EPK comes out or something. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. I'd love to see that. Cuts to my face being like, huh? <laughs> what? What did you just say? What was the scale of the production like? Is it a super small crew and you're in a situation where you have to shoot the whole thing in like three weeks? Oh, um, Kian, how small was our crew? Not that small, right? Not small. No, yeah, no, it wasn't that small, but, um, you know, of course, it, it is an indie, but the smaller the crew, the better the crew, obviously. I love working on more, you know, indie projects opposed to studios, just because you have a little bit more leeway, and you kind of, like, really get a chance to really figure out that character, um, and you, you literally have, all, like, everybody from the cast and crew really trying to make up this movie like and this storyline and this plot and these characters and I think you get more of that feeling on an indie. So how much uh, how much do you get to choose like what you're gonna do next? Are you in a situation where like you know a studio comes to you like can you pop up in this because like, oh. I was even looking at your IMDb and I didn't realize yeah. you're in the new Medea movie too. Oh yeah 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 um, <laughs> it really depends I'm like I'm, I love horror and I love comedy okay. but I personally am just not very funny so like 
I don't know why you guys are keep comedy. Why, why am I in so many comedies, people? I am. I'm a lot of comedies, and I don't get it. Um, well, the Duff, I think you did pretty well oh, on that. Oh, thank comedy. you. Oh, thank you. Um, and so, it depends. A lot of time, like I, I did a film called The Babysitter. And my agents called me, and they were like, "No, like you're not the lead of the film. Like you shouldn't do this role because oh. you know so and so whatever." Oh my god, I know and what you're think- talking about too, because that's the one. It- is that a horror coming of yeah, age? Yeah, yeah, Co- horror comedy thing. I, yeah, yeah. I think it's Bill, like on IMDb, the tagline is like plot under wraps, but it's a horror coming of age story, and like that piques my interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a horror comedy. It's really funny though. Like it's like real controversy, real controversy. But um, my agents were like, no, well, like you know, you know that the studio is gonna make you do all the press and like all this stuff, and I'm like, it's just like Esther. You're just making me want to do it more. Like, you're really not helping the situation. And then she was like, okay, okay, but probably, you know, this, this, and this. And I was like, I should just hang up because, like, I'm going to do the film. <laughs> so, like, you can't stop me. <laughs> and, like, that's one of my favorite films that I've done so far. So, um, I pretty much always make my own decisions, but I have a really good team with me that's like, mm, Maybe not so much this yeah. film. Oh, you need people to back you up. Like yeah, that. of course. All right, I'm gonna switch gears a little now, and I want to play a game with you that we've been doing on the site a lot. It's a movie version of Would You Rather. So it's okay. basically picking between the two things and then briefly explaining why you would choose okay. one or the other. So first, would you rather work with a director who gets too many notes or not enough? Um, not. I'd rather work with a director that's not enough notes because at least you could be like, hey, can you give me some notes here? Because I feel like I'm not really getting at this character. A director that gives too many notes is like. You feel like you only get one chance to do every note, so then like you can't fully get into that note because you only have one chance to do it. Would you rather sign on to a project without reading the script or without knowing anyone who you're working with? Without reading the script, I actually did a, um, doing a movie called John F. Dovin, and I sort of got I've never seen the script. I've never seen the script. So what made you sign on for it? Um, the director is Xavier Dolan, who's like one of the most talented okay. directors. And I was like, and yeah, and I get to play Jessica Chastain's sister, so I was like, please hire me, please. Wow, what good casting! Oh my, oh my God, God, Jessica Chastain, yeah. Kathy Bates, Kit Harrington, it's like all like the whole cast. That was the best answer to that question yeah. I've gotten in a while. Would you rather spend 10 minutes on a red carpet or sign 100 posters? I guess spend 10 minutes on a red carpet, but like I don't mind signing posters. I've had to do it like a lot, so I'm always like, ah, quick signature, I'm done. Would you rather work on a set with no food or no caffeine? No caffeine. A set with no food? That is some that is some shit right there, okay? I love to eat. I eat everything. I eat anything. Oddly enough, I would need the caffeine, but I love food too. Oh, like, uh, yeah. Caffeine. You'd be like, oh my god, I'm dying. I literally have like no energy right now to do this scene. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather work with an actor who's method all the time or somebody who improvises all the time? Um, imp- improvises all the time. Um, I worked with Cameron Monaghan, who's very method, and um, on Amityville Horror, and his character is a vegetable in the film. So we're like sitting at lunch, and he's like, his character's evil, and he'd literally be looking at me at lunch, we're sitting across from each other, and he's like... That really helps. Well, and then you think that like when you look at somebody that's looking at you, they're going to look away, you know, because it's awkward. That's usually what happens. But no, I look to him, and he's still like... He's just like, oh my god. Why are you staring at me like that? Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, yet more perfect EPK footage that I yeah, like to see. Yeah.